Adiós. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another devlog on my voxel ray tracing project. This month, I started work on a full video game using the voxel engine, which will be my project for the foreseeable future. I likely will not upload any more voxel engine related videos as the project is mostly complete in terms of features. From now on, most of my content will be about this game and possibly other projects. Uploads will also likely be less frequent as I have just started college and am now much busier. With all that out of the way, let's see what I managed to get done. The game I've decided to make is quite a simple one, and is designed to fit in well with the limitations of my engine. It is going to be a game about terraforming a tiny planet, shaping it however you please. It's going to be less of a game and more of a creative toy, think something like Townscaper. Once it's all done, you'll be able to change the terrain, place little forests, lakes, and towns, and allow some simple creatures to walk around. As you'll see in a minute though, we are still a ways away. The first thing I worked on were the basic camera controls. Nothing too fancy here. All you're really able to do is rotate the camera around the planet and zoom in and out. That's all a game like this really needs. Next, I added in some basic placement mechanics. This was more difficult than it looks, because in order to determine where to place the voxels when the player clicks, I need to cast a ray through the voxel volume to determine where it hits. When the cursor is locked, this isn't really a problem. Just cast a ray in the direction of the camera. But since in my game, the cursor is unlocked, the direction of the ray actually depends on the mouse position since we're using a perspective projection, where rays advance from the origin in a frustum. I won't go into the details, but for those who are interested, this is the code I used to figure it out. And with that, the first, very crude terraforming is working. But of course, we don't just want to be placing pink spheres. We want to give the illusion that we're actually raising the ground level and changing the environment. To achieve this, I decided to implement automatic terrain coloring. The goal was for the voxels to be colored based on how steep the terrain around them is. Steeper terrain will be either brown for dirt or gray for stone, while flatter terrain will remain green for grass. The way that I accomplished this was by looking at the voxel's normals. For those of you that don't know, the normal of a surface is the vector perpendicular to the surface, essentially the vector that points directly away from the surface point. To color each voxel, I compare its normal to those of the planet as a whole. If the normal of the voxel is very similar to that of the planet, it will be green. If it points in a slightly different direction, it will be either brown or gray. That's all I have so far. I know it isn't much, but as I said, I've been very busy as of late with school. Hopefully I'll settle into a routine soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>